Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Slim, aka Mr. Different, back with another video. Today I'm gonna show you guys some of my favorite shortcuts to use in FL Studio, and also a few little workflow tips that should speed up your workflow and help you guys out. I'm not gonna be going over all of them because of the ass of them, I'm just gonna go with my favorite. And if you want me to make a follow-up video with some more, I definitely will do that to help you guys out because a lot of you guys want some workflow tips. Also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and SoundCloud. I'll be dropping some songs soon. Help your boy follow, you know, keep up to date. And when I do stuff, you kind of get a heads up. And also, you know, just the Support your boy. Come on, man. Let's do it. But anyway, let's jump into FL Studio right now. So we're going to look at a few little workflow tips that I like to do. So first, I'm going to start with some stuff within the channel wrap. Then I'm going to show you some stuff to do in the pattern playlist so you can kind of speed your workflow when you're arranging and stuff like that. So one of my favorite things to do when it comes to FL Studio is um, give try to give my, my sounds a little bit more of a lively feel, I guess you can say. Um, and there's a few ways I like to go about doing this. So let's just look at this hi-hat right now. That's just a shaker. Um, so I'm, uh, if I want to get us some more interest and some more liveliness, one thing I really like to do is use the echo and delay in the actual wrapper of the the pad the sound or whatever. And the wrapper is not, you know, rapping, you know, some on. The wrapper is just right here that wraps around the sound and all that crap, blah, blah, blah. blah. Anyway, if you go to the ratchet tool or the wrench, I'm going to say ratchet, you got a little thing called echo and delay and fat mode. What that does is it, it, it pretty much is what it is, just a delay. Now, you can add delay, like a delay plugin, whatever, free delay, three, two, one, whatever. But this is an easy way to do it. And, you know, it, it, it saves CPU usage and all that crap like that. So if I just turn the feedback up a little bit, I'm just going to turn it up just about just to 12. So now when you play it, You know, it's, it's off timing, of course, but you know, you hear the echo or the delay. Now I'm gonna, you know, mess with the timing a little bit. You know, and it gives it like, it gives it a more, it gives it a bounce now. Now you have like a little, a little move, more rhythm, a little bounce to it. You know, it's great for, you know, adding a little live feel to your stuff and all that. So without it, and then with it. You know, and we can take it a step further. You can, you know, turn to fat mode, less echo, blah, 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 mess with the panning, cool. But one thing I like to do to take it a little step further is use a shortcut I like to use. So if we go into the piano row, my favorite shortcut, the randomizer shortcut, all you gotta do is hold Alt and R. So it's Alt R, or you go up here and go down and find randomizer and like this, I think it's like in uh, tools, or it's in tools, I think, yeah. Randomizer, or Alt R. And you can do a lot of stuff with this. Now, you can randomize the pitch, the panning, the release, the, all that kind of stuff. What it basically do, it just randomize them parameters inside of the um, the piano roll. So one thing I like to do is I always like to randomize my, you know, my velocity. So you can just turn it up, and you can see it's shifting the velocities. And you can hit this seed right here, and it'll actually, you know, go through different kind of presets, I guess you can say. Um, I like to mess with the pan just a little bit, just a little bit of panning, you know. And then, yeah, you can mess with the pitch you want to, but I don't do that. Hit accept and now you play it. It's got like a more lively feel to it. Another little thing I like to do is if you hold, if you hit Control A, now highlight everything, hover over one of the notes, hold down the Alt button, and just use your scroll wheel if you got one in your mouse wheel. You can, you know, bring everything down. And now. It's a great little tool to use. It works on drums, hi-hats, all that. You're trying to do some boom bap stuff, more lively feel stuff. It's a great thing to do. Um, and then, like I said, another thing you can do also if you want to make it more lively is use this shift, this timing shift thing and shift it over a little bit. Now just shift and just nudge the, the stuff over, give it like a little groove. Don't go too far. It's just freaking off. But, you know, I don't use that too much. There's people who use that a lot. But, you know. That's how I go. Um, and another thing I like to use the randomizer for, like the like for using like pianos. And you see all the notes are randomized, and it just gives, like I say, it just gives it a nice feel to it and makes it sound, you know, more interesting. So that's pretty much that on the the side of the goddamn 
what's the shit called? The channel rack now was called, or the play, or the the pattern selector. If you use FL11 or lower. So yeah, that's a couple of things I did you right there. Now, say you want to get into arranging something. I'm gonna show you a few little tricks you can use to help your arrangement speed go. So we all know you don't want to sit there and you know go different patterns and add a different thing, or go like copy this one, copy, go to new pattern and paste it in there and then go to oh gotta go here copy this one blah 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 rinse ladder repeat we don't want to do that we want to make it to where you, you can automatically do that i'm gonna show you one of my favorite functions in fl studio um it's an fl 11 and lower so everybody can do this if you take this pattern right here so we take pattern one put it inside of the actual playlist and you go to the drop down arrow where it says pattern one there's a thing called split by channel when you hit that boom it splits all everything by channel so as you see, now everything has its own channel, its own little pattern channel rack. So now you can start arranging your stuff, you know, like that. So now if you see, if I go here, everyone has been split to their own channel. That's a great workflow tip, great way to speed up. Um, so yeah, and if you want to send to the mixer channel, like send all this to their own mixer channel, instead of going, you know, you can click this, of course, every time you put one in a send to, or you can manually do it yourself, it's over here. But if you double click, just any one of these, double click or highlight everything, go to the first channel and just go to channel routing. It's on left L11 and everything as well. And just go to route from this channel. It'll boom, throw everything in their own channel. Now everything is in their own channel. Pretty cool, right? Now, one thing I like to do, I like to work in the traditional way of DAWs, you know, like, Studio One, Pro Tools, all that. And that means everything, each one of these is tied to its own channel, its own mixer. I like that because it just keeps me organized. Uh, one thing you can do is when you, if you, let's say, let's just highlight all these real quick. Just highlight all these, right click, we'll give them a different color. This is only an FL12, by the way, so sorry, anybody lower. Now I have random colors. Now what you can do is if you right click the channel with, a, get the pencil tool, if you right click it and hit the letter A, it will auto name it and auto color it. As you see it, I'm just right clicking, A, right click, A, right click, A, right click, A. Boom, now everything has its own channel right there. It's been named with the numbers and all that good mix. You can definitely go in there and tweak the colors and everything like that, but it does it automatically. Now, like I said, you can also just right click and go to auto name and it do it automatically, auto name clip, see? But, you know, right click, A, T 10 times faster. It saves you two button clicks. Boom, boom, you know, you ain't got to go click, click, click. You just boom, boom. Boom, boom, you know, it's two clicks. Workflow. Uh, and another thing I like to do is I like to go to macros. It's in the uh, the tools, go to macros. There's a thing called lock uh, all playlist tracks to content. I think it's in 11, let me guys know. I don't know for sure, but I know it's in 12. Eh. If you click that button, and it'll be like, you know, resize, no. Now it pretty much locks everything to the channel. So if I say I wanna draw in this channel, it only draw whatever is tied to it in there. So I can go like, you know, to the next channel. It'll only draw that. Same here. Boom, 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 boom. All the way down. You know, it only draws in there. So, you know, you can do all this. You know, when you're doing your little paint and brushing, you're, you're brushing in crap. You know, so like, oh, I want to draw here. You actually need to re-click. Boom, boom, boom. So, you know, instead of having to go, oh, click this, then draw it. Oh, got to go to my hi-hat, then draw it. You just draw in there, and it speeds your workflow. It just speeds you up and makes you go faster, and that's what you want to do. We don't want to be sitting there thinking about stuff. We want to just work, 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 so we make more beats, of course. So we'll just delete all that real quick. And then, like I said, boom, 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 boom. You know, so did it even do it? Yeah, it did it, but now I got to redo it now. Weird. Bam. Yeah, now it's being fucking weird now. Yeah, it did it. It did it because it was locked in. Locked mother. Well, that's how it works. I don't know. FS Studio ain't stupid now. It does every time, time. You know what FS Studio is. Anyway, control it. There we go. So, yeah, that's a few little tips um, I like to do in FS Studio. Um, just some of my favorite shortcuts to help me speed up my workflow. Uh, I said, I, it's not the most, I, I don't have a lot. I got, there's more to do in there. I definitely look up more for you guys if you guys want more. Just want to experiment with this. See, so you guys wanted something like this because you guys, I, you guys been asking me, how do I do a bunch of the stuff that I be doing? And that's how I do it. You know, my favorite shortcuts. Like I said, but if you want more shortcuts and more workflow tips, definitely uh, comment below, thumb this video up, share it, help me guys. Let me know. If you let me know, I'll do it. I don't care. Just let me know. 
help your butt. This video ain't going to be too long. It's already 10 minutes when I'm in it here. So with that being said, y'all know who it is. Your boy Slim, a.k.a. Mr. Different, not motivated money. But the like, comment, subscribe, and views. And with that being said, please check out my website if you want some cool kits and stuff like that. I got new ones coming out. Also support me on SoundCloud, Twitter, Instagram, all that good mess. Just look up Mr. Different TV on Google and all my shit pop up. I'm Google friendly. That's what's up. So with that being said, hope you guys enjoy like always. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one, everybody.